Hi, this is John Stevens with uh, PSTFileRepair.net. Again, that's PSTFileRepair.net. And the purpose of this video is to show you a 100% free way to actually repair your Outlook PST file. Now, many people know about this, but then again, there's a lot of you out there who do not or who are a little confused on this. And what it is is... Your PST is an Outlook file, and that actually holds all your contact information, including all your emails, your contacts, your to-do lists, and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and get started on showing you how to use a free scan PST repair file that's actually built into uh, Office. And we're going to be using XP today, but this works just the same as Vista, and the Office system we're going to be using is going to be Office 2003, but once again this will work for previous versions and Office 2007. We'll cover some of those minute differences here in just a second. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up Outlook here. And once again, we are using Outlook uh, 2003 here, but this is going to work pretty much the same. And the error that you're going to be having when you open up Outlook would be like, cannot open up Outlook due to corrupt PST file. Use the scan PST tool to repair it. Well, unfortunately, they don't show you exactly how to use that tool. So that's where we come in here. We're going to go ahead and browse over, uh, go ahead and open up uh, my computer, and once again, this is uh, XP, and uh, it doesn't really matter if it's XP or Vista, it's going to be very, very similar here. We're going to actually be browsing down to the uh, Scan PST file tool. So in Office 2003, we're going to go ahead and go under uh, your C drive, your local drive, whatever you have the, the operating system stored on, and you're actually going to have to go to... Program files. Let's see if we can find it. Program files. Here we are. And um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and find uh, common files. Now, take note. This is one thing that can be different here on uh, Outlook 2007. It's actually going to be program files, and it's going to be under Microsoft Office. And then Office 12 is the actual folder name. That's where you can find it. But for 2003 and most previous versions, you're going to go uh, directly where we showed you before, the program files, common files. And we're going to go ahead and browse down to system, if we can find it here. System, there it is, right there. So we're going to go ahead and open up system. And now it's going to be on the MS Mappy. Now, uh, previous versions may have it as um, just Mappy. Um, it, it basically will have the MAPI in the folder. So we'll go ahead and open up that, the 1033. And once again, this can change a little bit. On uh, previous versions, it could be some really super long string here. But go ahead and just browse into there, and you should be able to find it just fine. So we're going to go ahead and browse for the scan. There it is, scan, pst.exe. And you can always do a search on your whole entire computer to find this folder. Uh, th this particular program. And this is a free tool that can actually repair your PST file. It's really cool to use. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now you'll notice this is the inbox repair tool. Enter the name of the file you wish to scan. So first thing is, is we're going to have to close. If you have Outlook open, you're going to have to close Outlook down. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and browse to where our file is located. Now it already automatically found out where this one was at. But let's let me show you the actual path. So it's going to be C drive, documents and settings, and right here is going to be your username. And then you're going to have to go under local settings, and then application data, Microsoft, Outlook. Now in Vista, this is XP in Vista, it's going to be slightly different here. Under the C drives, it's going to be users, and then you're going to go under your username, then local settings, application data, yada, 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 all the way down to your Outlook PST file. Now, also keep in mind here, you may have to turn on uh, to viewing um, um, hidden files and folders. So if we were to actually browse to, let me go ahead and just browse to it myself real quick right in front of you, C drive, documents and settings. And, and uh, it's here, Nelly Girl. That's that's actually, uh, don't ask, just don't ask. All right, so we're going to go ahead, and uh, you'll see here that the local settings is an actually a hidden folder. Cause you'll see it's lighter than the rest, and you might have to unhide it. And you can do that by going to Tools, Folder Options, File Types, and, uh, oh, oh, sorry, a View and just right here show hidden files and folders and just uh, then just scroll down hit the OK button 
All right, in Vista it's going to be slightly different. You can do it under the uh, control panel, uh, and you can just use the search in the top right and just say hidden files, and, and there you'll be able to find out how to un untie hidden files. So if you have to browse to it, you can browse to it. So now we're going to go ahead and select the file we wanted, which was the PSD. And you can go ahead and just hit the start button. This is really, I always keep my Outlook file pretty small, you know, under uh, under usually a gig. Um, for those who have extremely large files, this could take an hour or two hours. One thing is important to find is it did say, oh, uh, folders found, 19 items found in this file, blah, 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 blah. Um, errors were found in this file. So uh, one thing you need to 100% always do is check this box. Make a backup before you repair the file. That's extremely important. So from there, all you have to do is hit the repair button, and and uh, it'll start the repair process on the PST file. Like I said, if it's an extremely large file, it can take a long time to do. But if it's not uh, um, that big, then hey, you shouldn't have much of a problem. So in summary here, that's about it. And that's how you use it. And this is going to resolve your issues probably about 90% of the time. Um, for those times that it does not, um, I, I, you feel free and, and just visit our site, the pstfilerepair.net. We are, are slowly building onto the site more and more and more, and we're going to be covering a lot more ways in which you can recover your PST file. Now, one thing is there, too, is we have a PST file repair tool. Now, this one does cost money. But this is the tool I use, and I own a uh, fairly su successful computer repair business. And this is the tool I use when I'm out in the field uh, to repair clients' PST files. And keep in mind, I have many, many business clients. You know, they have years and years of data, and this, the, the, their Alloc, uh, uh, you know, PST folder is actually invaluable to them. They, you know, they, it's an absolute must. And unfortunately, so many people out there don't back up their data. And I guess that's in, in closing here. Uh, the number one thing I could recommend is constantly back up your data, back up your PST file at least once a month, or your, your general system files. There's no reason not to. Uh, um, my favorite one is Carbonite is an online data backup source, but there's plenty of other solutions out there too as well. And I'll go ahead and I'll see if I can't find a coupon uh, for Carbonite, and I'll try to put it on the site here. I'll have to contact them and see if they do have any. But uh, uh, anyways, I hope this video helped. Uh, and we're going to be throwing on YouTube, so you're going to be able to watch it there too as well. So so if it did help, great. If not, hey, contact us. Maybe we can help you out too or give you some other advice as well. Um, we're, we're just now building up the site here. So we're going to have a contact thing. And like, like I said, plenty of other guides here. So that is it. I hope we were able to help you repair your PST file for free. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll hope to, to deliver a few more things to you. Take care.